Hello there, this is a tutorial for the belt generator. When you open the file, this is what you see. You have two options, we have the duo belt and the multi belt. And let's see how they work. Because when we go into ghost view, and let's turn off the multi belt, if we first start on the duo belt, we can see in ghost view that we have two vertices. And if we move these vertices, the belt is generated on these vertices. So it puts the wheels on the vertices and then generates the line and the elements that is supposed to be the belt. Also in the parameters, we have a lot more options where we can decide how big we want the wheels. So radius A and radius B can be changed. We can also, if we play, there's an animation. So everything is linked together, the speed of the wheels, the speed of the elements, speed of the belt itself, which is underneath, and that's all automatic. And here you can change the speed to how fast you want it to be going. We have also a belt tilt. So it tilts around the edge that is created by the two vertices. Uh, we have this internal panel that we can turn off. So also you can project your own textures onto this panel. Uh, we have the internal width, if we want to make it bigger or smaller, thinner or thicker. Here we have the uh, different materials for the belt and the belt elements that you can set. Uh, we have the elements on top that you can turn off. Here you can see the belt underneath which also has a material that you can change. We can also make it random. So you see the different colors of the elements. The elements are right here. If we turn off the duo belt, we can see here two elements with different colors. And if you place more into here, uh, the belt will recognize it and place them onto the track. So if we uh, also have a seed, so we can change the randomness. If we turn this off, it's just going to be sequential. Uh, we also have the distance, so we can change how far these elements are apart. Uh, we have the element width, so you can make them a bit wider. We have the belt width, so the width of the underlying belt and the belt thickness can make the belt a whole lot thicker. But then you also have to uh, change the wheel margin, make it smaller. And also here we have the element positions. So we can change the position and the rotations of the belt elements, if you want to play with that also. So that's the duo belt. And if we go into the multi belt, it works slightly different. Well, with the vertices, it works the same. So you can grab vertices and the belt is being generated. You can also, for example, if we select this edge, we go into subdivide. With every extra vertice, it will generate another wheel and then calculate the belt again. So this way you have a lot of control over creating belts really fast. And also here we have all the parameters that are mostly the same, but we also have different radii of the wheels that we can set. What you can do with the wheels is that you can change the radii of all the wheels, but you also have, uh, you can choose three wheels with a different size. So for example, this is wheel index one, I can make it bigger or smaller and I can also change which wheel it is. So you have to be careful because if you put two wheels on the same index, two and two, it will multiply. So also for these two, you can change the size independently. So then maybe you can make a 
a belt for maybe a tank or maybe a machine where you can get some interesting variation in the wheel sizes. So and also for this one you can uh, change the elements and where they are but you can translate them a little bit if you uh, have trouble lining them up you can use these values also to rotate rotate them also make sure for the uh, if we for example turn off the elements yeah it's better visible at this one that you can see the belt itself that you use these uvs so if this field is empty you should type in uv and speed so the materials know what to do that the materials know where the uvs are and also how fast they need to travel over the belt to make it look uh, like everything is connected so that's the belt generator. I hope you can use it.